If this place doesn't bring you to your knees crying, you're not working hard enough. We are farmers of the sea. We grow Pacific oysters, blue mussels, and seven varieties of kelp. We grew up in the same town. It's called Little Compton, Rhode Island. We always had so much fun harvesting the ocean. We'd just go fishing every day. I just thought like, oh, we can do anything together. Both of us, our whole lives, have wanted to come to Alaska. I feel like ever since we were kids, we just always had our eyes set on this place. We just wanted a new challenge, a new adventure. You can only get here by boat, and there's only 15 people that live here in the winter. Halibut Cove sucks you in. Back on the East Coast, yeah, there's usually someone watching and like out here in Alaska, you know, a lot of times we're working alone and in the dark, it's you know, a lot more risky. We had some really hard days. All of your hopes and dreams just tangled. We've had emergency room visits and it's rough and 10 degrees. Predatory bear attacks. Gotta keep trying. Failing scares me the most. Just not knowing what tomorrow's gonna bring. You could die, I could die. It's so real, it's so raw. Greg's a problem solver. He just never gives up and always works so hard for everyone around him. Greg and I really try to work together as a team. We have each other's back. Just love farming. I love seeing the oysters and seeing them grow and like seeing the mussels grow and like help grow and like provide for them. It's kind of addicting and you don't want to stop. I love the ocean so much and I want to see it thrive in the future and I really want to see it protected and us use it responsibly. She's definitely a visionary. She saw us and what we could make together. And she's like, we're gonna start a family and we're gonna have a business. My family gets me up in the morning. My family is my purpose. The one thing I wanna pass on to my children is work ethic. Our family's passionate about the wilderness and getting out and exploring. We just, every corner we come around, we just wanna keep going around the next corner and we don't wanna stop. And like being able to experience it and being able to be here and be able to be part of it, it's rare. Wilderness is rare. I'm not sure what they're gonna think of their experiences. It's been quite a road. I mean, they see us do all sorts of things and we do it all together. And I really think it's gonna be a positive experience for them and just really think it's gonna give them a leg up. I believe deeply in our mission here in Halibut Cove. I feel like we're so lucky to be able to experience what we do. So proud to feed people. It's probably one of the best parts of the business is actually to feed people sustainably and organically. It's really challenging what we do. We're the one person out there doing it. There's lots of like obstacles to overcome. I want people to do what we're doing. I want people to go out and experience it and try it because we did it. We proved it. We learned to survive and even thrive here. We have confidence in this life. I was born to be a farmer and I will farm until the day I die. I'm Weatherly. I'm Greg. We're extra tough.